psyched about this. I am too. All right, we're recording. A grain of evil is the first encounter. Whoa. Some right. of the farmers. <laughs> oh, it is farmers. <laughs> we have to, let's listen. That one was the most boring one. No way. So, unless there are surprises, I foresee visiting between the six and 11 locations in order to answer most questions regarding the current mystery. However, you are a bit rusty and it's possible other facts will present themselves in the course of your investigation. So take your time if you think it's necessary, but please wrap your investigation by no later than day five afternoon. A Grain of Evil, Investigation 1, Arkham, Massachusetts, June 30th, 1929. Responding eagerly to a telegram from your friend and mentor, you rush to the Miskatonic University Orm Library. There is a warm summer breeze gently rustling the trees, allowing the dappled sunlight to flicker lightly onto the streets. You cross the university quadrant to reach a, a great gothic entrance. Professor Henry Armitage, Miskatonic's erudite librarian, greets you at the polished wooden door to his office. He leans on his cane, his wrinkled face cracking into a smile. Well then, I have an interesting little problem for us to explore. It has been some time since we ex exercised your deductive facilities, faculties, so how about a simple mystery to get you going again? Obviously there is a chance that the events last evening involved more than a simple crime, but I do not believe that to be the case. However, after my experience of last summer, one can never be too careful. He shudders visibly upon alluding to his confrontation with the Watleys in the village of Dunwich. Armitage settles in his chair, adjusting the violets on his desk. Inspector Garrison called over breakfast this morning and precipitated my note to your good self. It seems that Inspector is at a loss and requires a specialist assistance. Last evening, as you may have noticed in from this morning's edition of the Arkham Advertiser, a disturbance occurred on West High Street. It was a pleasant enough evening and at 7 o'clock the streets were relatively full. A young woman well-dressed and of seemingly good health, collapsed on the sidewalk after emerging in a state of distress from the uptown park. A small crowd gathered to assist the young lady, an orderly from St. Mary's Hospital and his wife stooped to re revive her, and the policeman was found. The orderly noticed a growing crimson stain seeping onto the woman's blouse. He slit the garment free with his pocket knife. At once the horrific nature of a wound in the lady's chest was apparent, and he stemmed the steadily increasing flow of blood. I'm happy to report that the disaster was averted by his quick thinking. An ambulance arrived in good time to take her to the hospital, and they've managed to stabilize her condition. The librarian pauses to sip a coffee from a delicate cup. He likes coffee, too. You nice. guys can get along. The policeman assumed this was an attack by an unknown assailant until the woman regained consciousness momentarily in the ambulance. She raved nonsensical syllables before crying out that the trees were alive. Alive! Whilst dealing with the mysterious lady, the policeman was, a sharp, was sharp eyed enough to spot a man lingering in the crowd of onlookers. The man was acting in a furtive way, watching the proceedings with a curious detachment. He was tall, over six feet, with a worn brown suit and dark hair. Uh, he had a distinctive birthmark under his left eye. When the policeman called out to the, la uh, to the man, he fled the scene. Being preoccupied with the, la uh, with the lady, the policeman was not able to pursue and noted a description in his pocketbook. Armitage sits back, the leather of his chair creaking. He steeples his fingers. The identity of both the woman and the mysterious figure, a fugitive remain a mystery. It is also for us to determine if there are forces beyond the mundane at work. You better get going. Let Garrison's men take care of the crime scene. They do get rather protective. Before you set off, Armitage says, Remember, if you need help, come see me at my home. I am unlikely to be in my office when I'm working the case. So I'm thinking police station to get that sketch of the guy. And we know we know he has a mark under his eye, but we know he's tall. We know he has dark hair. He had a brown coat. Yeah. We know that the trees are alive. That's what she said. And we know there is an easterly wind. <laughs> That's why the trees are alive. <laughs> I love that what Pumpy Tudor uh, so said. This was she the... got knocked out by that nasty, nasty <laughs> I couldn't, easterly breeze. I couldn't breeze. see it before. This is the park. <laughs> it's because it, it was written in after. This is the park that she came from, and then I guess this is the whole street. So she must she collapsed somewhere on this. Street. That's the woman attacked, and she says it has to do with this dude. Which right? they it's think. This, it's, they think it's this dude. Okay. Yeah, well, they just was, saw him. That's they all. saw him at the crime scene when they were investigating, and he ran when they tried to confront him. Really? So, it said that? I don't remember that part. Yeah. He okay. called to him, and he ran mm. after. Yeah. Ran so far ran. away. Attacked. Um, somewhere, so somewhere on West High Street. But they said that the investigation is being taken care of at the crime scene, so we don't need to go there. Well, they said that they are very protective of their...
So the PD. So I, mean, I don't know about getting a dis- getting the description of the man, like getting an actual picture of the man from the police officer that drew it, is actually good, but. Um, who, who drew it? Uh, one of the policemen. One the one the that policemen. called out to him, and then he ran. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so you're thinking, go to the police station, try to get that sketch, and maybe give us the, some more info? See, yeah. Well, what's, I mean, is he going to be at the police station, or is he going to be at the investigation? Probably at the police station. Yeah, by this point. Um, yeah, another place we can do... I'm, t- yeah. I'm on board with what you're saying. Okay. Uh, another place is the criminologist place, where we, they have... Uh, uh, fingerprints and stuff. Mm. Well, she no that that's the place we can bring her stuff, mm. and she'll give us information from it. That makes sense. So we have to get. I think we have to get some stuff first. Is but we could get stuff from the crime scene. Oh, so. But that they did say in there that they're very protective of the crime scene. We might not be able to get onto it. Yes, they were clear about that. So, so we I might agree. not like that. Might be just a waste of time to go to the crime scene. Yes, I, I agree. agree. But if we go to the police station, maybe he has something, or we can maybe bring that sketch. To somebody else, like maybe to one of the more shadier places, like the Speakeasy or that other place. Yeah, good yeah, idea. Yeah, let's yeah, get yeah. that sketch. Yeah. And, and see let's... if anybody has seen them. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's go to the okay. police station, which I believe is D32. D32? Or maybe, yeah, maybe we just double check <laughs> that we're not going <laughs> so to the wrong yeah, place. If you'll want to write it down if there's, if there's an encounter. encounter. Yeah. D32, Arkham Police Station. <clears throat> D32? So courthouse and jail. Yeah, D32. This is a cool game. Massachusetts mm-hmm. Guard Armory. Whoa. We should go to the armory. We need guns. <laughs> yeah, let's load up. Let's just load up and lo- unlock and load. Mm-hmm. Unlock and load. And then... Then we go to Speakeasy and just... <laughs> yeah. There goes the NBA criminal. Man. Nope. <laughs> you guys ready? Yes. D32. One of Garrison's sergeants, the young Mickey Tall, saunter- saunters over to you and attempts to make himself useful in his superior's absence. You looking for Garrison? He's out on a bust over at some diner this side of the river. You ask him if there's any further information regarding the suspected attack on the woman in Uptown Park. Not much more to add. The lad's been going door to door. The only odd thing uh, any of them reported is some members of the Silver Twilight Lodge hanging out at the old Emperor home. You make mental note that you might want to talk to Sebastian Lyman. Who was the policeman? Uh, who you guys ask? Who was the policeman who first visited the scene in Uptown? That'd be Matthew Keene. He's not on shift today, I'm afraid. Matthew Keene. So that is an encounter? Yeah. Yeah. Will you tell me right away if it is an encounter? Yes, I'll, I won't read anything. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I won't read anything. D- so we got an encounter, so that's 32. Good. What so, else do I need to record? Uh, just the number. That, so I just put a one next oh, to it. Yeah. yeah, right. D, what was his name? <laughs> and then who you talked Matthew to. Keen? Matthew Keene. Matthew Yeah, Keene. Who did I talk to? You talked to you Mickey Toll. Keene. Mickey Toll. Okay. And Matthew, D67 is his address. He was the first one on the scene. And then they said that there was some, something happening at the Emperor House. Yeah, uh, the civil... Uh, tw- what's that thing? The, the something with civil... I wrote it down. Possibly Silver the Twilight Lodge. The Silver Twilight Lodge has been seen around the Empire, Emperor thing. So maybe we that also should be a location we go. I don't know if that's part of the crime scene. Sorry, what was seen there? The, uh, the, the Silver... The sil- Civil Twilight... The Silver Twilight... The people? The, like twi- the Order of the Silver Twilight. Yeah. Okay. So like that group, that weird group. They were found at the. They were seen there. Emperor. Oh, what was his? What's what's the guy who? House. The mole. The mole. What's the mole? The, oh, it, Sebastian mole. Lehman. Lehman. He he gives oh, info Lehman. about Carl to Armitage. Lyman. L Y M A N. Lyman. Yep. Lyman. What was his first name? Sebastian. So his house is L eighteen. Yeah, that's Mitch house. Yep. Nice. So we oh, can right. so we I go to his house and see if maybe get information on why the instead of going here, go to him, ask him if he has the information because obviously he's giving information about them to Armitage, so he's gonna give it to us. Um. Yeah. So see if he knows why that the silver um, twilight is going to the Emperor House. But then there's also mass. Maybe we go to Matthew Keene first and get more information about the crime scene. He was the detective that was, was the first there? Yeah. And where is he now? He's at home. He's at home. Well, at least we think he's at home. Yes. And uh, the another person is Morris Garrison, the detective, is at a diner. Uh, and there's yeah, a diner. There. No. 
Wait, yeah. Well, yeah. he basically lives there. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, that's right. He, yeah, it... Which is his home. Which is weird. It's contrary to earlier, they said he can typically be found at his office during an investigation. Mm. Uh, no, they said he pretty much lives at the diner, I think, and that other thing. Oh, yeah. I the think can we look at this? Yeah, of course. If we have questions about what was read, that's yeah, I can, open. Yeah, I can. Okay. Until you leave the location. Ah, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That yeah, seems seems good. Uh, can uh, where 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 did they say Garrison would be found? Um, he is out on a bus over at some diner this side of the river. At some diner you. this side of the river. I know, I know the diner already. We oh, know, do you? We know the diner already. Right. What did we write down? Or what's the I'm diner? just trying to find it here now. Didn't we, didn't we see it? Diner D2, where William Coffin, a shady person who ha does we... knows something about unsavory places. This easterly wind is going nuts in chat. This easterly Classic. wind. I'm telling you guys. It, that, yes. Oh, William Coffin, right? Yes. That's, yeah. Uh, he's... He's at the Fleetwood Diner D2. So often you would think he might live there. He oh, doesn't. It does not give his office in this thing. It just says that he is at Fleet, He's at the diner. Yeah, this weird William Coffin dude. And we think that Morris Garrison, the head detective, is actually at that diner as well right, right now. Right now. Oh. Looking into a bust. Looking into a bust. What the fuck does that mean? Like a... Fucking... Looking into a... Does it change... Does people change the location of returning on the day? Not in this one. Not in this one. Okay, so like if we didn't go to the diner till later, he they both still be there basically. If we don't go right. till tomorrow, yes, we can this, go to the diner. This this doesn't matter the days. It's only the time of day, and that's not for this one, right? So like oh, that's in the flavor of like missing people, it's only morning, afternoon, and evening. Okay, yeah, but that's not in this adventure. But that's not in this adventure. That doesn't affect if people are home or at work or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So we could talk to the mole of the cult. We can talk to the detective at the... <laughs> detective. <laughs> Pumpy Tutors, thank you so much for the $5. Pumpy Tutors. Should we appreciate thank it? Thank you. Um, and, or we could talk to the detective that was first at the scene. It, I, think, I think we talk to the detective first. Because if, if he has any information about what the crime scene is at, does it matter the order we talk to then? Probably. Uh, not in this one. Oh. And this is like the yeah. beginner one. This is like the beginner one. Okay. So then they start adding that kind of stuff. We just get all the information all at once, sort of thing. Yeah, I'm not opposed to talking to the detective. But I think Same. we, yeah, like uh, the detective that was on scene. What's his name? Sebastian. Sebastian Lyman's or no? No, Lyman's the mole guy. Matthew Keane is the the detective that was on scene. Yeah, well, Matthew who's Detective Keen. Garrison. He's the head detective who's actually currently at a diner right now, yeah. sipping on coffee, l researching a bust. Sipping on coffee. Or so you, you on think ginages. we should see Matthew Keane? You're thinking we should go to diner guy? I, I, want, I think we should. No, no, no. I think we should go to Matthew, Matthew Keane first. Okay, I agree with Matthew Keane. And then the Keen. diner, and then S Sebastian. Yeah, I'm into that. Uh, maybe Sebastian, then the diner. Let's because the, the diner, all we know about the diner is that Garrison is there, which why I don't know why we need to talk to him right now. I mean, he's the head detective, but what is the head detective know? Yeah, his his name hasn't come up for this oh, we're all going here, right? Let's detective. go to Matthew Keane. Let's go to Matthew Keane. Yeah. That's gonna solve a lot of things. Matthew Keane. That, it'll tell us what we want to do after that. Let's go to Matthew Keane. Yes. So all right, what's his location? D sixty seven. Really? Where is that? What is this place that we're going to? D sixty seven is right there. And what is it? It's the his house. It's, it's Matthew, Matthew Keane's house. house. Okay. D sixty seven. Officer Matthew Keane's house is a small but tidy affair on East Kerwin Street facing Independence Square. Mm. Your knocks are probably greeted by a muscular young man with a clipped mustache. He is dressed well. It is likely he had just arrived home from church. Keane invites you inside where his wife pours you a cup of coffee. Keane relates the tale almost precisely as it, as it was described to you by Armitage. Is there anything else you can add, he, you ask? Not really. I'm sorry if you've wasted a trip, but I always try and make my reports as detailed as I possibly can. The order, orderly who helped me attend the lady, that's Lawrence Hetfield. He and his wife, Emily, live on Southwest Street over up French Hill. I know that they took the injured lady to St. Mary's Hospital, and Garrison had me deliver her belongings to Herbert Corbett, the consulting criminologist. Interesting. 
Interesting. What was the other name? Herbert. What was the first name? <laughs> um, Lawrence Hetfield. And the second one was Herbert Corbett. And he escorted the woman. He's the criminologist. The criminologist, right. Herbert Corbett? I wrote it down wrong. Herbert Corbett. Hetfield? Hetfield. Who is F61. This? Who is this guy? Who is Hetfield? He's a criminologist. No. 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 Hetfield no. is the orderly who No, Corbett. Helped. Corbett yes. is a criminologist. Hetfield is the orderly who helped attend to the lady. Ten. Okay. Lady. Okay. Interesting. How is this tied to the baseball game? That's the real question. So do you think that maybe that's the guy? Wait, no. Keen was the first on site. Yeah. He must have just came later and helped the lady. What the fuck's Keen up to then this whole time? A stupid idiot. <laughs> Not helping the lady. <laughs> he probably just sees he was some doing dude the investigation. and he just he's drawing a little picture. And he's basically her. saying, I can't help you. And we didn't get the picture. Girl. Or the picture was at the... Was the picture at the... PlayStation then? No, you have the description. Oh, we have the description. Yeah. He's tall, I think a brown jacket, dark Birch hair. Mark under left and eye. And the trees are alive. And the trees are alive. Because With of the, the easterly of wind. Um, so they took the woman's belongings to the criminologist. I think that would be a good place to go. See yeah. what the criminologist just says. Yep. Get some science data. Yep. Pump it through our veins. So you're saying we should go to Corbett? Oh, we know. That's we know. right. Yep, Herbert Corbett, the criminologist at D25. It's a she. Miss Herbert. Oh, it's a miss? I don't know. Oh, I don't know, that's what he says. I thought... No, no, it's a he. Herbert Corbett, yep. Yeah. D45. I mean, so what else could we do? We could, uh, what, what have we... The, uh, what did we figure out previously There's still, that we there's still the, the, infor the mole for, for the Silver Tongue, because we don't know yes. what their connection is with it. There's the mole, there's the head detective, who may or may not have anything at the diner. I'm not optimistic you would Me have neither. too much. No, because if the, if the person who's on site didn't know him much yeah. more than we already had... What's the head guy going to know? Yeah. I mean, the head uh, guy is, uh, talks about this that, uh... Um, Garrison, who's the head detective, he expressed surprise, remarking that this type of crime was unusual for the district, one of Arkham's wealthiest areas, but he felt this was an isolated incident and citizens of Uptown should not worry unduly. So if we were to talk to him, he may give us more uh, info about why he's surprised and, and what like he's seen in the past. And like maybe something specific to like why it's isolated, like why... Mm -hmm. Yes, why he thinks it is isolated yeah. and why he doesn't think it's... Uh, yeah. So, anyways, I, I, I don't think it's that valuable, but I think right. there could be something there. I say we go to the criminologist. Same. Pathfinder 430, yes. This is Same. very similar to Sherlock Holmes' consulting detective. All right. Criminologist. Criminologist? Okay, no. let's go to the criminologist. D45? D45. Uh, really? Okay. It's not D25? It's D45. Okay. D45. <laughs> Boom, evening. D45, you wrap in the door to Herbert Corbett's lab. And after a, more, a moment, you are greeted by his helper. He recognizes you and shows you through to Corbett's workroom. The workroom is a chemistry lab with several Bunsen burners blazing away. Herbert is huddled, huddled over a bench. On his head, he wears a magnifying apparatus, which he lifts to greet you. Welcome to my criminology laboratory! I'm not going to do this voice anymore because he talks a lot. No, do it. He shakes her hand, yeah, saying that this man is kept very busy. You don't waste any time with pleasantries and ask about the attack on the woman in Uptown Park. Ah, yes, a strange one! I believe that I can shed some light on her lodgings, if nothing else. Corbett reveals a brown cardboard box. Garrison left these for me to examine. The blouse, as you can see, is saturated with blood from a wound made in her chest. I was interested to know that the blouse was not damaged before she was administered first aid. Mm. This suggests that the blouse was put on after the injury occurred. More revealing is the lady's purse, which contains an address. Here, he rummages in the box. Purse. This is a bill from Rennie's boarding house, and a receipt confirming that she had paid for next month's rent in advance. There is a receipt as well from a bookstore. The receipt reads... <sighs> what, was, what was the name of the place? Rennie's boarding house. R-E-N-N-I-E. Boarding house. Yeah. Uh, it reads Meredith used books. Three dollars received with thanks for Coleridge collected poems. 
to be inscribed on the inside cover to Edward with all my love, signed M. Huh. There's a lot of so info there's... here. Oh, Rainy, Rainy's boarding house is not in residence. Cord phone? Sorry. Just get it the on. book place might be. I haven't checked for the book place. But listed in residence, there's no boarding house or the or student residence. What are you looking for? Rennie's boarding R house. Rennie's boarding house. Because that's apparently where she lives. She's already paid for a month. Or is there an alphabetical one as well as like a categorized? Sort of. They're not all listed in the alphabetical, but I'll go check. Where books and maps? Rennie's boarding house. I don't know what it is here. Okay. Perfect. F sixteen. Uh, sorry, what was the importance of this place? I already she yeah. she she lived there. And so the received, yeah, the received for rent. F ah yes yes. F sixteen here. So okay. Not far from the park. Was this where she was found? Yeah. Leaving the park on West High Street, so she was going south. She was going south. Yeah. Why do you say south? Because she was found on West High Street. Oh, over here. Yeah, she was found. Well, she, didn't she, she was east. Found. <gasps> it was the wind. It took her. Ooh. Isn't that way east? Uh, oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> she was going against the wind. Never eat sunny That's days. what you get for going yeah. against the wind. Yeah, exactly. That's what you fucking get. Okay, so the weird thing was this freaking blouse. So she yeah, got injured, is. then the then blouse got put on her. What was she wearing beforehand? Where are those clothes? What, why did someone dress her? Mm. So many questions. <laughs> yep. So, like, what? They took her clothes off? Was she found only wearing a blouse? Is that what they said? And then stabbed her and then put a blouse on? Maybe she was wearing the blouse. So maybe there wasn't what other was the clothes. Bookstore? What was the receipt? Bookstore, Meredith, used books, Coleridge poems, insignate, in signed to Edward with all my love, signed M. Wow. It was a book that... A book, yeah. She took. She bought a book, $3. But what was the receipt? Where was the receipt from? From Meredith used books. Meredith used books. I didn't even write some of that info Mer down. Hey, Meredith's used Meredith, books, yeah. and it's signed by M. And it's signed by M. Meredith, Meredith used books. M fifty. Maybe that's her bookstore. M fifty. Wait, why would she have a receipt from her own bookstore? <laughs> yeah, for three dollars. <laughs> um. Okay. Can we search for Edwards? Actually, this won't give us much information. Unless Edward, <laughs> some dude named wall. Edward has like a house nearby. Maybe it just like happens to be like, why, here's Edward's house was... and he's tall. Uh, I, I... <laughs> There's an Edward... <laughs> Scar under eye. <laughs> Edward M and an Edward's F-E-Q. Okay, so there's two of them. Oh, well, the one's plural, one's not. What, Edward and Edward's. Okay. I mean, it's not plural. Where's Edward? The Edward is L-56. L56 is mm. down there. Mm. So, L56, that one right Meredith. there. Meredith. And then the other one, Edwards FEQ, F66. F66 is in here. He's right there. I don't think it's Edwards. Well, I don't know. Well, you said Edwards. And Edward. Edward to Edward. Single. Oh, you said Edwards the first time. Oh, I don't know. All right. Okay, I was confused. Edward. Okay. Okay. So this well, lady. Well, what's the what's the loves Edward? Oh, the receipt. To Edward with all my love, signed M. To all my love. Could be a love. Could be a family member, maybe. Uh, but signed by M. But wait, wait, possibly wait. Meredith. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> so funny. It's used books. Yes. So <laughs> it, it could, could also written. be anyone <laughs> because be anyone. somebody took that book there, dropped it off. I don't want this book anymore. It was the breakup. No, 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 the book. inscription was. Part of the payment for the book to be inscribed by oh. the common doorway. So the book, she doesn't have the book. No, it's a receipt, receipt for the book. It's the receipt has for receipt the book. And it's wants this inscribed in it, this yes. woman. And was, was so there a date on the receipt? Her name is M. There was not. Okay. Her name is M. She's giving this to Edward. Yes. Whoever that is. Fucking kid for all we know. Yeah. Goldridge Bones. It could be a five year old kid that she's like, from all my love. <laughs> anyway, okay. So I mean, we could go to the bookstore and ask if they know who that is. Because we have the receipt now, do we, like... Yep, we have the receipt. Okay, so if we go 
to... Well, you can see the receipt. You can't take it with you because... Fair. But if we go there, we can be like, who, do you know who this was? Could you give us a, a, a first and last name? Dude, yeah. To find out who the woman is, Ajax? To find out who the woman is. There was something is. else in the purse. What was it? Um, boarding house receipt the boarding for, house rent. Receipt. for rent. Yeah. For rent. For the place she's living. Yes. Mm. Which we found. That was... Which... Uh, if we it's up here somewhere. Go to her house. She's not going to be there, I assume, because she's in the hospital, right? So her house yeah. is kind of useless to go to. I mean, we maybe, might not be able to get into it, though. Yeah. Do we have a warrant? Did you get a warrant? You're supposed to get a warrant? <laughs> did you? I don't think you did. No, nope, can't go in there. Dang. So... I mean, it's the, 20, the 1920s. They don't should we go to any of our past places? Like, is this... Like, I think we could the, go to the bookstore? We still need to go to, to the mall, I think. Because there is a connection to the Silver Tongue, or the Silver Twilight. What was the connection again? That they were seen around the scene when yes. during the crime scene. Oh, yes. Around yes. the Emperor House. Around the Emperor House. We don't want to let that one slip by, here. yes. Um, why, what is the deal with this blouse thing? Do you think someone took the blouse <laughs> off? <laughs> I think someone lifted it, stabbed her, and then put it back down. It doesn't say that she's not wearing clothes underneath, right? She All had... it is, is that she was stabbed, and someone put a blouse on her, right? That's what it, that's what... That's what it says. Okay. <laughs> so why though? Why? I, mean, I agree. I'm do, very curious. Do we think there is like a sexual aspect to this, or can there can it be explained without a sexual aspect? It can Did someone? Be. It can be. What? What? what the the blood? The, Maybe the it wants her to die. In the struggle, the wind blew her brows out. Easterly wind. wind. They, they got Woo! stabbed, and then she <laughs> fell over, and, and then, then <sighs> and then when she was found, because she was still alive, she was still stumbling. She pulled her blouse back down over top of her wound. Okay. So yes, not it could be not sexual. Okay, we can go to Garrison at the diner. We can go to Meredith Sue's bookstore. We can go to talk to the random Edward dude. We can go to the mole. I'm leaning towards the mole. I think it's mole time. Mole, 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 mole. Mitchell always making sexual. I was trying to find a non-sexual like one. Platonic stabbing. <laughs> Just friends stabbing. Uh, L18. Friends with stabbing benefits. Sebastian Lyman? Lyman. Yeah, let's go to him. Yeah. Go him. Go into Lyman. Day two. Sebastian Lyman, L18. Let's see if there's something for you guys. L18. Sebastian Lyman, Armitage's moles inside the Silver Twilight Lodge can be seen through a window of his home. You tap three times on the porch screen door as previously instructed, and a moment later, the immaculately groomed man comes to the door, absentmindedly, twirling his waxed mustache. He glances furtively around to ensure there is no, no one in sight before waving you inside. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that you hear about the Emperor home. Carl Sanford and his in, inner circle have been there almost every night this week. They were tempted to contact something from beyond. You get my meaning? Don't ask me what. I know better than to ask. What I do know, however, is that they failed. Even the beyond apparently doesn't want to be bothered by their likes. He continues... Carl was in a filthy mood when I saw him today. Thankfully, when he descends into one of his melancholias, he hides away for a while, clinging to his secondary interest, preferring the old drink or two or three or four, if you know what I mean. Mm. I think they are going to leave the Emperor home alone for the time being. He'll be back to his tricks again soon. Now you have to go. Carl could surprise me with a visit today. If you were caught here, that would be the end to both of us. Okay, so they were trying to summon something at the Emperor home last night. At the Emperor home and... Which uh, is right here. Right next, next to the, the park. park. So they came... They failed. He was pissed off. They came out. Lifted her blouse. Stabbed. <laughs> the blouse. <laughs> Weird. Or maybe it didn't fail. Maybe they actually did summon something and they she don't She saw know. something and they were like... <laughs> What's Carl's last name? Sanford. Sanford. Freaking Carl. So he likes to drink. Do we know about Carl's height? No. The trees are alive, she said. So I think they, when they, they, she was around, she was in the park when they tried to summon something. The trees are alive, probably she saw something. Well, like, the tr maybe everything was, like, swinging around, yeah. and, like, there was stuff happening around the house, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because they were trying to summon something. Mm. And then they thought they failed, but they actually did summon something outside in the park while they were inside. She's the monster. She's the thing that they summoned? She's the monster. <laughs> Done. Case closed. Oh, my foot. Um, 
But that's good information. That's good information. Yeah. Can you write it down? Carl asked, um, what else should I say? Uh, that they tried to summon something, like the, that the, the, the silver tongue, or silver, silver twilight tried to summon something. Is it civil or si silver? Silver twilight. Silver tongue. Silver tongue. <laughs> It'll always be silver tongue in my eyes. Interesting. So I'm, so I, th I would say at this point, they're our prime suspect. Yes? Carl asked yeah. the last. So I, I mean, not a perfect is, suspect. But, but the thing is, is one of the questions might not be, who did this? Sure. One of the questions might be, what did they summon? <laughs> <laughs> Forget yeah. who, but what did they summon? Well, right, because we... Yeah, we're... Yeah. So do, we, do we think that this could be a, a fictional, like, sci-fi aspect to this? Well, I can confirm there is. It's like it's, Yeah, it's cosmic, so it's okay. like Cthulhu. Okay. Yeah, this is yeah. like Cthulhu. Okay, so I gotta lore. open up my brain here. Not so necessarily. Carl? Like, okay, you don't sure. need it's yeah. like, yeah. Right, but it's it a possibility. Could, it's theme. There's a theme, there's a horror theme there's to the, it. There's the, yeah, there's yeah. a horror theme. Carl S. Um, That's not But they were yet. frustrated, right? We're not that it wasn't yet. working? Did they well, say they, that? That's what I said. They thought it, maybe they thought it didn't work, but it actually did, or something came through. Yeah, the trees are alive. Yeah, that's yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they were inside. They said that they were inside doing their summoning. She was outside saying the trees are moving. <laughs> yeah. And then she ends up stabbed and with a blouse on her. Yeah. <laughs> Where did Carl S go? He just left because he was he was pissed off. He was so pissed they, off. They so they he left. left. And he, went and he to could go come drink. back any day. And he went to go, go drink. drink. He went to the speakeasy. We should go to the speakeasy. We should go to the speakeasy. And see if there's information of when they got there, if someone her overheard their conversation about their summoning. Interesting. Because the speakeasy is where we're going to hear weird shit too, right? That yeah. said something about... I mean, we could also go... There's the guy with the, with the paranormal, with the more paranormal stuff... Um, but I think we need more information before we go. Yeah, the I occultist, mean, Pascal Fenton, the occultist. It doesn't matter the, the order of information we get. In this one, it doesn't matter. In this not. one. Yeah. So we could just go somewhere and find out. But yeah, it, I don't seems, it seems funner to actually learn more. And yeah, then, progressively. Yeah. Okay, um, so we, what are our options? We could go to Speakeasy. We could, again, still go talk to the head detective, which we've never Garrison. talked to. Um, we still need our, I think we still need our name too. Yeah, we don't have Burning. a name. It's possibly the owner of that bookstore. <laughs> I'm, still, <laughs> I'm still holding on to that store. Okay, that's possible. Eddie? Uh, where was it? Um, so there's the, the professor, Lenore Robinson, is the great source of information on all matters historical. She's an expert on the oral history of the Mississonic Valley. I think that one's... Miss Count. Uh, yeah. I have Pascal Fenton is who you're thinking of. Pascal Fenton. Here it is. Yeah. Uh, and Spiritualist. I mean, we go to him and see what information he has on this thing. About the trees. Is there anything else you want me to write down from this situation? Carl S. Vlad Silver, Silver Twilight tried to summon something. Yeah. Anything else from here? I that's think that's important? fine. That's okay. good. Um, my vote... Is to go to Speakeasy. I'm feeling the Speakeasy I'm because of the, speakeasy. the alcoholic. Because we think he was annoyed and frustrated and probably went I mean, there last the, night. So, so he said at the beginning, he said 6 to 11 was what he thought he was going to be do, do it in. So we're only at 4 right now. I think we have a lot of information. Yeah. Yeah. So. So Speakeasy? So Speakeasy. Sure. Let's go to Speakeasy. Right. What's the number? Uh, N4. N4? N4. The number four. N as in like backwards turn order. N4? So N. N, you find nothing at the speakeasy. Uh, rip. What? Nothing at speakeasy. I thought that might be the case. Really? I, I thought that might be the case. Okay. You should still write it and say no, nothing. We, right. Well, I figured I'm not going to forget it, but yeah. I mean. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Speak easy. Interesting. So, so he options? didn't go there to drink. Well, he might have, but then no one overheard anything. About sure. Anything. Yeah, possibly. Uh, so let's. I think uh, we go to Pascal, the occultist spiritualist. Yeah. So. Because uh, it was something spiritual. It was something something. But. Yeah, maybe. Weird happened, right? 
I think that... Pascal meddles in forces he would better off to avoid. So maybe he was even helping them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we should go to the detective. Garrison? And see what he says. See if he can give us any information. Oh, at the diner? At the diner. Lisa. Yeah, sure. maybe extra stuff about her. Yeah, possibly. Boom, maybe an identity. Because he yeah. just said in the thing, he said the identity hasn't been released. That means he probably uh, knows it. Yeah, possibly, yeah. So I just want to retrace our steps a bit here. So we've seen these people so far. Yeah, we went to the police station, Mikey Tall. And that's where we learned about the uh, left eye stuff. Right, no, no, the left eye stuff was in the in initial the... description. Oh, okay, okay. The... Oh, what was happening with the left eye? The, oh, that's to do with the... The guy that they the, saw. The, 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 the yeah, what saw. was with his left eye? He had a scar. Oh, yes. Or scar, sorry. Yeah, and he was tall. Was and he was tall, trench coat, dark hair. That and could be Carl. Maybe not be Carl. Anyways, yeah. I don't think it was Carl. <laughs> it may be, yeah, oh, I don't know. Could be, it could be... Oh, it could be Carl. So, okay. It could be one of his henchmen. And then we went and saw Matthew Keane, and he said, I, DK, yeah. but, <laughs> but... But he gave us some info. Some. He said that they sent stuff to the criminologist, and that was about it. Okay. So we went to the then, criminologist. Criminologist told us the boss weird oddity. Okay. And then they go, okay, so I'm just trying to... Yeah, okay. And, then, and then we went well, okay. to Sebastian Linen, uh, the mole. And the mole yeah, he told us to okay. Told us you gotta write down the speakeasy right now, the speakeasy too. No, he doesn't, because no. there's nothing there. All so right, it does not count right. as location against you guys in scoring. Oh really? Yeah, it just counts as time. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. So now we'll go talk to the, I think the detective diner. at the diner. Garrison. Do we know the diner so possibly D two, I think? Uh da, 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 da. I wrote down D two. William yep. Coffin. Diner. Yep. D two. I think yeah. Because he said on the same side of the river? As the police station, right? That initial conversation? Uh, D2 is, I mean, D2 is here. So this is the diner. The police station was... I wrote down at diner D2, but... What was the police station? What was the first one? D32. D32. Oh, so yeah, it's the same side. Yeah. So yeah, okay. yeah there's D2. the police station. It's probably the same diner. Okay. We hope. The Fleetwood Diner is quiet. There are only a few patrons sitting in the booths. You take a seat. The waitress notices and comes right over. She is chopping at gum at voracious speed. You looking to eat, or are you looking for that no good Will Coffin? Well, he's not here. Gone out of town for a few days. She taps the side of her nose with a knowing look. You can't help but wonder where her average chomping speed is per minute. Interesting. So all we learned was Will Coffin, who's a shady dude that hangs out at a diner, has been gone for a few days. Well, he will be so, gone for a few days. He will be, or he has been? He's not here, gone out of town for a few days. Gone out of town for a few days. So if he was a suspect, I would say he's not really anymore. That doesn't help us I don't much. think he was ever a suspect. No, he wasn't. I, he was but on our radar. But the Garrison guy's not here, so this is the wrong diner. Fuck. How? Is there more than one diner? I don't know. Where's Gears? He's at his office. The one dude said he's at the at the diner, but I remember clearly Garrison telling us Here's I am home. usually at my office during an investigation. That was Armitage who told That's me. That's Armitage. Oh. He's usually not the Garrison or Armitage is usually not at his office during an investigation. What? I thought he said he usually is. No. How confident there's is that? There's Fleetwood Diner and there's Grafton Diner. Where's Grafton? And B's Diner. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> and what are the locations? Uh, B's Diner's D9. So same side of the river. Oh, so you probably went to the wrong one. Uh, and Grafton, Grafton Diner is N37, probably... which is also the same side of the river. This one's closest to the police station. Police station, I think, was D. D32. D9, I think, is closer. Yeah, D9's the closest one right there. Shit. We went to this one. Yeah, we went to the possibly the wrong one. So I mean, do, do we, we waste time going to this other one? Um, I. Because I think they just said diner. He never said a specific diner. No, I don't think day. so. No. I don't remember saying a, him saying a specific diner. I think we should go there. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's just do it. I would say let's do it. But wait, what are our other options again? So either we could go to the bookstore. 
Go to the bookstore. Go to her home. Go to the emperor house. Yeah. Oh, we haven't gone to the emperor house. I didn't even think that we could go there. <laughs> I don't say it in my head. But, I mean, I this like... is the crime scene, right? So, I think... Dude, we haven't even gone to the crime scene. <laughs> well, but they said not to. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like it would be a waste, but, yeah. But, but, but they say not to just rose off. But would the emperor... No, because it was Armitage. Ah, uh, right, 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 right. Who told us not to. But I don't know if the emperor house is going to be part of that in investigation. If the investigation is just happening at the park, or if it's more... Oh, I see. Expensive? <laughs> right? The house might not be... Yeah, I don't think the house is going to be part of the crime scene. I don't think the police have anything that has they just perfectly did. linked it with the crime. I, th I think we're just going off a hunch and some guesses that it really isn't yeah. related at all at this point. Which I do think it is, but... Yeah. Um, oh, I think that's a valid place to go. So we can either try to find him or we can go to the Emperor's place. What do you think? I think we should. We have more to go off of with one of the this questions one. Is maybe be, what's her fucking name? One of the questions is going to be what's her name? And we bank it off with the bookstore. Do we have the name of that bookstore? Yeah. Is it Meredith down? used books? That's Meredith all I have. Okay. That's perfect. Oh, but I gave you a I gave you a number for the location, right? Mm, did. Maybe look it up again. M um, oh, M fifty. Yes, M fifty. Um. Yeah. There. Yeah, you guys want to go there? We go to the house at U41. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, let's go to the house. Okay. Please let me know if there's anything else to write down, but I think. Flip that page over. U41? U41. It's going to be nothing. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Piss. U41. The Emperor Home is a dilapidated, oh, crumbling God. building that exudes a kind of tragic melancholy for its loss of grace. The front door is boarded up, as are the windows. Around the side, you find a window that has had the boards carefully removed and placed neatly on the ground. Squeezing through the narrow opening, you find yourself in a moldy hallway. The smell of rot and damp permeate the air. There is little to discover on the ground floor apart from evidence that the hallways have been well trodden recently. The dust is thick everywhere except the trail leading to the stairs. The trail continues up the stairs onto the third floor. In a large room, presumably a former music room, judging by the moldy piano pushed into the corner, you find something disturbing. The room contains a large painted pentagram on the wooden floor, with unlit black candles at each point. A series of sigils are daubed across the walls and floor, and the word Nyarlahotep recurring again and again. You try not to stare at the symbols too closely as they make your vision swim. Perhaps oh. an illusion from the low lights, you are not sure. Between a gap in the floorboards, you spot a small silver medallion, but apart from its unusual design, it doesn't tell you much. It's the silver, it, the silver twilight. I mean, we know they were there, so yeah. that, that's not... The whole, like, making you swim, that's when she said the trees were alive, so she looked at it. I think she was in there with them. Well, why? Or, I don't know. <laughs> so Wait, we know what the was the phrase? What was Nyarla Hotep? Nyarla Hotep. Nyarla why don't we go to... Can we spell it? Of course I can spell it. Because I think it sounds like one of those things that it's like a, uh, backwards. N-Y-A-R-L-A-T-H... I think we go to Pascal. O-T-E-P. Pet... So... So I will... No, Nyarla Hotep's an old guy. Okay, old god. Old god. Oh. Now the Hotep's an old. He's a. I don't remember which what he does and what where he's from, but I do know he's an old god. Luckily, that kind of information yeah, yeah. does not matter. Yeah. For. I think we go to uh, Fenton or Pen whatever his name is. Possibly. Spiritual guy? The spiritual guy Kay. and ask him what this god is and what and. Possibly. What first before we do that, let's discuss what we found here. We found a, a Emperor a, home, large painted pentagram with symbols, makes your vision swim, silver medallion that apparently doesn't mean anything, but probably is related to the silver guys. Well, we know the silver twilight was there. That's... This is chanted. Any other specifics from that? No, I don't think so. I think he summed it up. The rest of the home was really. There were some un... black candles. The black candles on the pentagram. Unlit. Unlit. A piano. Moldy piano. Uh, that's but I think that's irrelevant. all like just. Descriptive for yeah, the room, yeah, yeah. probably. I just wrote on my handle. It's dusty. Uh, the windows were boarded up. That makes sense. Uh, Except for one, which we crawled through. Yeah. Yeah. He's like Cthulhu's cousin. There you go. So, so it, okay, yeah. I think I think we go and we find out the specifics of this ritual and of that god. Yes, I think those will be helpful. I think we go. And to I the think that'll really point in a direct 
Shane, it'll at least give us information for possibly the questions at the end, right? Yeah. And possibly even a place to avoid if they... I know, like he said, he thinks he thinks that they did... Well, he says that they did. They failed at their attempt I to summon. Don't think but I don't did. think they did. <laughs> I really don't think they did. I don't, yeah. I don't think they failed at it. I think they, they, they did. And yeah. So I think it's just probably good to find a location to avoid. And he might be able to give us that. So. Yeah, let's all right. Let's go to him. Let's go to him. He, he, he is. Oh. Uh, Fuck! It's already day three. L four. L four. Yeah. Occultist. Oh, um, yeah. No, no one. If he says jack shit, I'm gonna kill him. L four. Armitage has little good to say about the odious little man that is Pasquale Fenton, Arkham's most celebrated occultist. He and Armitage have had a lifelong rivalry. Too much the showman, and some might argue charlatan for most taste. However, Pascal manages to make an impressive li living. His mansion is, mansion is tawdry and garish, decorated with a vast collection of occult, including deformities and jars, unusual medical devices, and jewelry that evokes satanic ritual. He invites you in cordially enough, but the smirker that appears on his arrogant face when he learns the reason behind your call raises his hackles. Oh, so now I'm consulting on this matter. I would have thought that the bumbling idiot Garrison would have come himself rather than sending his protege. Biting your tongue, you explain the wound on the young lady and why the police would be concerned. Pascal realizes he is a bit nasty and changes his tone. Trees? She went on about being attacked by trees, did she? I would suggest that you have stumbled upon the cultists of Shub Niggurath, also known as the Black Goat with a Thousand Young. There are mutterings of certain dark rituals that, well, her followers use as a sacrificial victim to host the spawn from an unholy seed to infant. The wound on this woman may be that, or maybe she is just insane. The mad abound in Arkham, as I know you have heard from the stories. That would be a better guess. Pascal passes you and uh, passes pauses, and you encourage him to tell you more about Shub Niggurath. He is a bit reluctant to share his knowledge, but continues. A spawn of Shub Niggurath is sliced free from the flesh of the host and brought into this world to uh, wreck whatever horrors it may. Investigate the witch cults in Arkham if you truly want to go down this path. It very well may be that the lady uh, who was attacked is, is delusional from some poison, or she made it up altogether. You ask what the spawn is likely to do if it indeed has been born into the world. Pascal bites his lower lip. For now, nothing. The spawn will take a number of uh, years to fully mature. The texts speak of these creatures often attacking domesticated animals, particularly dogs and cats. Even in seed form, the animals can sense their evil presence. With this, you thank Pascal for his insights and leave. There is a missing cat, right? Yeah, there is, there is, there is, yeah. Um... And uh, Chub Niggurath is spelled exactly how it sounds. Is it really? Yep. Sh uh, Shum. Here, I'll show you it. <laughs> I kept on like, oh, okay. Shub Nig Rath. Okay. Niggurath, something to do I with black oak. Shubby. For shubby sure. is better. Let's call him Shubby. Let's call him Shubby. Shub Niggurath, Shubby. Oh, here and it is. The we, missing we, cat. We did tell you the story of our, our banning on Twitch from it. <laughs> no. <laughs> we one time made a bunch of uh, Twitch users of all the, the uh, a lot of the more popular old gods, and he was one of them. And then not long after, we got an email saying that your account was uh, banned because of the name. And we're like, what are you... Oh, yep. That's so funny. Do either of these acronyms... I'm going to throw some acronyms CS at you guys. CS Missing Cat. Yeah, we got... CS. It's in the newspaper. What about L... Yes, yeah, CS. Let's go with CS. Does that mean anything? I can't think of anything. Other Carl? Than, Sebastian? Other than, Wait. Other no. than Cultist of S? CS? Uh, not much. What was Carl's last name? S... Uh, I got it. Reward I got it. Carl. Carl Stanford. Ooh, Carl Stanford. Stanford. What is he? CS. CS. Yes. Missing he Tabby Cat. cat. Uh, He's looking for the cat for his thing. Uh, uh, reward. Something to do with D. Pickman S. Parsonage. Yeah, is that S where he lives? S. I. Reward. We found out where he lives. Didn't we? You wrote it down, right? L19. L19. On Parsonage Street. D. Pickman, S. Parson Street, L19. Something, S1, SI or S1? S I, S I, I think. S I, S -I reward. To D. Pickman. To S. D. Parson Pickman, Street. South Parson Street. Yeah. Uh, South Parson Street. South Parson Street, L19. 
19. Where D. Pikmin was. Because I looked it up. Yeah. Do you see any names on your sheet that could also be for LP or RJ? LP or RJ? LP, it must not happen again. Down, oh, that's what you're asking me. Down and yeah. RJ know what this means. Um, okay, let's see. Down. So LP, so P's the last name. So let's go to the P's Yeah, here. look for an L. And look for an L as a first name. P. Da, 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 da. Peabody L. Okay, don't recognize that one yet. Pierce L. Nah, nothing. Pratt L. Pratt L. Nothing. And that's it. Okay, so then RJ. So last name. Yeah, so this one might be totally irrelevant. J. It could be. Um, J. Is Lyman Alphabet a first name? Yeah. J. It was a first name R. Mm hmm. Uh, there's two, three. Okay. There's three of them as well. Oh, okay. Okay, so we th so do we think Carl wrote this ad that saying missing Stanford. cat? Stanford. Oh, and he's uh, He's also the one who... F Does he have any relatives? Does Stanford... He's the leader of the Silver There's Twilight. a Stanford aunt. Who... Where are you... What are you... Well, his last... Sa San Sanford. Oh, Sanford. No, we're going to look at Sanford. I was looking at Stanford, not Sanford. Should we go visit him? Carl well, see, Sanford? Yeah, well, yeah, I have an address. <laughs> I mean, we could. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that's the wrong decision. <laughs> SI reward to D. Pickman. Yeah, I don't know what that means. SI. Is there a name Seeking by SI? Intra no. F it must be some personal ad lingo. Like, it's. Does anybody want to know what SI means in personal ads? SI reward. Like, seek. <laughs> Man seeking woman. <laughs> MSW. SI reward to D. Pickman. I mean, we know where he lives. We know where D. Pickman is. Let's look at, double check, let's look what this says for that address. Uh, Pickman, Pickman D, L19. Yeah, so... Okay, so let's recap what, what's just happened. Okay. We learned that it's possible that it, they planted a seed into this woman and it, it escaped out of her, well, which would kind of make Shubby sense. Shubby did. Huh? What? Shubby. Shubby did. Called Shubby. Shubby? Shubby? What word are you guys saying? Like Shub, <laughs> Shub nigger grass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just decided we are going to say the nickname. Yes, gotcha. Shubby. Jesus. See, see interior? So does that explain the blouse situation? That Shubby just came out of her chest and like no, fell no, out I of think, her? No, no, I think they, they went to... I think... I don't know why the this old guy was written on the wall. But they summoned... They must have... Summoned Shubby. Well, Shubby doesn't actually come into the world. He, a piece of him comes into the world, plants himself yeah. in something. Into something, okay. A, a woman. Okay. And then over the next few years, it will grow and whatever, and then eventually just be so, a big god again and then take over the world. Well. And then they, but it said something about cat, uh, domestic animals, right? Something about yeah, how is Shubby? But we're still there. What did it say about domestic yeah, animals? What, yeah, yeah. Shubby will kill. Uh, cats for the, a while. So the spawn will take a number of years to fully mature. The text speaks of these creatures often attacking domesticated animals, particularly dogs and cats. Even in seed forms, the animals can sense their evil presence. Oh, so if we brought an ant, we found the cat, brought the cat to the hospital, <laughs> put, put it in front of her, if it freaks out, then the, that's <laughs> what happened. Done. Okay, they also did mention that uh, be she was so loopy it could have been poison. It's, oh, much, okay. it's much more boring, but, but it's, also, <laughs> I don't want to totally cross that yeah. one off yet either. He said, so he's basically either saying it could be a sacrificial special wound yeah. or she's crazy. But I don't think or, it's sacrificial. Like, uh, Shub does it on his own. Like, right, okay. They, so I'm thinking the silver cult tried to do a god. Like, um, go on, go on. <laughs> I, uh, I think they tried to summon something, and they failed. They thought they failed, but, but they actually they... didn't. They they summoned another old god, a different one. Possibly. And then she was in the park, and then this girl was in the park, 
walking. Walking along, and then suddenly the tree started moving and she got... So th how did she get loopy? Do we think she got into the building and was looking I, at the pentagram situation? I don't think so. I think there's probably the whole area around it would have just been really... Possibly, okay. Sure. Right, as yeah. it came that makes sense. Okay. into being. So where do we go then? Okay, this is good. He didn't give us any places to go. He said something about witch cults in Arkham. So yeah. if we wanted to continue to go to the witch cults in Arkham, which I don't... I'm sure we could find out that by like going to like the historical society. What do you think we could get from going to the bookstore? Oh, mm. Anything? Uh, her Someone name. who works there? We could get Possibly her name. Possibly her name. Should we? Yeah. Uh, sure. I'm, I'm okay I don't think that. it will hurt. I, I don't. I think something will be uncovered. We're at time eight right now, so that'd be time nine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's go. Bookstore. Let's go to the bookstore. Yeah. M fifty, I think. M fifty. Okay. M fifty. The door. M or N. M. The door. Say it again. M fifty. Mike fifty. Okay. Mike fifty. <laughs> Moke. The door to Meredith's used book is books is locked. Unabashed, you try knocking and are rewarded after a few moments by a friendly, large man in a sharp tweed suit. His gray hair is thinning, but his eyes twinkling. <laughs> so, Echo, thank you so much for the follow. We appreciate it. Welcome to the goddamn table. Um, you explain that your reason for stopping by. He takes the receipt from you and turns it over in his hands. <laughs> yes, definitely one of ours. Come in for a moment, won't you? And I'll check the ledger. Mr. Meredith leads you inside the musty-smelling shop. Shelves cover every wall and groan under the weight of printed li uh, literature. It's a last name. <laughs> he smartly rounds the corner and pulls out a worn book. Flipping through several pages, his fingers scan the columns of names with practiced ease. Yes, here we are. Coleridge collected poems to be inscribed in calligraphy with a personal message. We charged $3 for the young lady in question. Yes, Martha is her name. And Edward is her betrothed. Edward Hartwell. You quickly thank Mr. Meredith and leave. Edward, sorry, say so that last name. So her name's Martha again? Edward Hartwell. Um, well, we did, did Martha we find her, name, her last name Edward before, Edward is her patrol, her patrol, no, Edward Hartwell. What is as betrothed? Far as I know. Love, like love. 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 Okay. Yeah. Or Mr. Meredith. Was that his name? That yeah. was the bookstore guy. Yeah. Martha, Mer we don't know. Yeah. I thought we found out her last name. From who? Martha. No, I one of the police so. officers. I thought they, they had gave us a last, or I don't at least an initial. They, we had M, but that was but it. From a receipt, that was but anyways, it. Anyways, we have a first name, Martha, which is good. I, we can't find an address from that, but we can find his address from that. From yeah. Um, we, we thought it was somewhere down Hartwell? here. Hartwell? Well, no, we thought, you thought his last name was Edward, so I, look, I was looking at his last name, Edward. Uh, Did we... What was his last Hearth, name? Yeah, Hartwell or something? Hartwell. Hartwell? Hartwell E. e. L26. I mean, still down there, I guess. L26. I mean, she could have been heading to his house. What is she doing here anyways? I don't know. She, was she, she, she lives up here somewhere. Because she was just, like, walking through, walked through the park, and, like, came over here. I don't know. Stupid face down. Okay. So our options, we could visit Edward, her lover. What do we think we could gain from that? We can gain... Oh, you gave her name. 100% more her name. 100% more her name. Yeah. We could still go to the diner to talk to the... We don't even know if that's the right diner. I do. That's now a 50% chance that that's the right diner. <laughs> 100%. D9. Um, <laughs> what else could we do? What are some other options? I think it was... We could go to Carl's house. Carl I think it's S? Dangerous. It's the, the, Car the Carl Dangerous guy? Yes. yes. We could go to the super dangerous dude's house. Be like, but I think, I think we have it. I think they knew... I think they thought they failed... They wa and they walked away, and they were pissed off because they. Boss. Hi. You want to? What do you want to do? Edward's house? I think we want. I, I think Edward's house, yeah, because I think we'll at least get more specifics from him of some About sort, her. even like what she did that day. Well, yeah. What was or she why doing? was she in the or park? Why was she? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or if she's been acting strange, or yeah, what's or, her personality or, like? Is she into spirits? She's single. Is she part of this cult? Maybe she's part of this cult. Does she like it in the butt? You know. So. Does she like <laughs> it in the butt? Says Mike. At what point? Because in case we did get a last name, at what point do you think that we did get that last name? I don't think we did, but do you but. Remember, do you recall? It was one of one of the police officers. The police. Why would they say only the last name though? 
I don't know. remember. I I think we might it might have just been an initial because I, okay. we, I knew we couldn't get anything okay. from it. Um, oh, and then we, so we just left it. Okay, okay. Let's, I think, yeah, we should go to... I mean, I mean he, if he knows that she's hurt, he might be in the hospital. Oh, true. Um, and if that's the case, then uh, no harm done. Oh, we spend a little bit of time. But, we, yeah, I say we go to Edward's house. Or Garrison. Or so wait, Garrison. Are those I feel like Garrison's not... Gonna be helpful? I think Garrison will be helpful. I think he, we should have gone to him step one. Oh, fuck and I think no. we're getting so far away that he, that he's becoming a distant memory. What if we're on like a side story? Missing. What if we're not even Yeah, like... Garrison would be like, whatever you do, don't, don't... care about the fucking cult people. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, let's go to Edwards. I'm fine Are with Edwards. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, now I'm starting about. to worry. Okay, fuck it. Fine, let's go. What? It, eh, it'll be fine. Who gives a shit? <laughs> We did, we, I, I, don't, I think we already have not beaten their score on this one, but... No, I don't know. Really? We don't know. We have to answer the questions. We have to answer the questions. questions are right. more the majority of the points. Yeah. Okay. So, and yeah. we don't know what the questions are yet. Yeah, we, we don't we've know. We've gotten a lot of information. Yep. Let's go so, to Edward. And I think I, I, I 100% going to say that since it's been so hard to find her fucking name, it's, her name is going to be one of the yeah, questions. Sure. It's going to be so we what's got her one point. name. Yeah. Let's go to Edward. Well, this is go to Edward. What's his location? Oh, uh, Edward Hartwell. <laughs> I didn't write it down. I, I told you it. I, I thought director. you were the location guy. No, only <laughs> of what we've gone to. Yeah, That's all I write down. To. Okay. <laughs> I've gotten yelled at by every dude here. That's what dudes do. They yell at girls. Yeah. Hartwell E, right? L26. Hartwell. Hartwell E? Hartwell E. Yeah, okay. There's a Hartwell M as well. Oh. Oh. Why are you Martha! Are they Hardwell, married? are they married? Betrothed to her? Or did they live in the same house? No. F66 <laughs> and separated. Oh, where was her house? Wait a second. Where was her... The, the receipt from... What was it? <laughs> oh, shit. F16 boarding house. F16. Renny. Renny. That's where she lives. No, okay. no, no. F66 oh, okay. is this. So it's a different Hartwell? Maybe? Hey, can we find F16 on here? Yeah, go yeah. back to F-16. Oh, shithead. Oh, but it'll Sorry, just say me. boarding house. But can we it's find a house. person who lives at F-16? Yeah, it's just a boarding house. It's, it's just, just the a, boarding house, it's right? It's just the boarding house. Oh, we won't see, like, a, a Martha da, 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 F-16 <laughs> no, anywhere in here? It's, uh, what's the bullshit house called? Yeah, but I, I mean, that's exactly Rennies what I'm not are. looking for. <laughs> Rennie's... You're just looking for F-16? Rennie's boarding house is F-16. Yeah, so that's what I'm not looking for. Okay. I'm saying, like, like this. Smith l lives at R16. Oh. Um, I, uh, that's okay. Like, uh, like I'm saying, like, go, go down the, the list. F16. There, uh, there's only one of each number and letter in it. So F16 is only Rennie's boarding house. Okay, so oh, she okay. lives at F16. To save Mike the time of scanning through all the numbers. Okay. I just don't want to. F16. Okay. okay, let's go to Edwards. But so F66 is the other one. I mean, is maybe him? she... Maybe she... No, no, no. I think that's F66 is, is Hartwell M... L16 is the other Hartwell. It was her, is him. Is okay, so we're going to so L16, yeah. uh, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see, double check that. What? L26. L26? L26. Write it down this time. L26? L26. That's that's his address. Why did I read F16? L26. Oh, for the love of Pete. Edward Hartwell's home is average and unassuming. A cat draws your attention as you step <laughs> forward to knock on the door. Yeah. The mangy feline is backing away from a basin window. The poor creature's eyes are wide and its back is arched, hair standing on end. It's hissing in the most fearsome way. Uh-huh. It's she's here. You knock on the oh. door and when there is no reply, you knock again. As minutes tick by, you decide that a closer inspection of the rear of the property might be in order. Right. After all, if his lady was injured, there's a chance that someone may have attempted to injure Edward Hartwell as well. The yard at the back of the building is well tended and the fence is new and painted. The back door is unlocked, stealing inside quickly so you're not observed. You uh, you find yourself in a clean and tidy kitchen. The cutlery and plates are neatly washed and stacked on the drying board. The attention to the tidiness continues in each room. A pile of mail addressed to Edward Hartwell sits on a small table near the front door. Remembering the cat, you discover a small cellar door in the kitchen and head down to the basement where a bare flickering bulb illuminates a small workroom. Discarded under a workbench is a small, broken packing crate stamped with the Miskatonic Museum's address. 
On the bench, missing. on the bench lies a wickedly sharp, straight-bladed dagger etched with unusual symbols on its wooden hilt. The razor-sharp blade reveals a flex of red stain. Next to the dagger is a bowl, also stained dark red. Your stomach lurches at the uncomfortable thought that these are the few implements that injured the woman. A few pieces of old parchment with indecipherable crabbed handwriting lie scattered nearby. Placed next to lar uh, next to the parchment in an open is an open but wooden box. Sorry, I'll say that again. Placed next to the parchment is an open wooden box containing four large grain seeds. Each is about the length of your fingernail and jet jet black, leaving everything as you found it. You exit the property the way you came. You also find a note that uh, you can find it from note C one A. Oh, a note. So this was good. It was good we went here. <laughs> Edward, I am glad it all went as planned. I will arrive in town Sunday by train and meet you at B's diner. God damn it. <laughs> Which diner is That's that? That's D9. Ah, oh, fuck. I fucking yeah. <laughs> going to D9. Oh! I will collect it from you there, so be sure it is kept warm. So, so, sorry, so, uh, the note, someone's coming into town to meet Edward, Edward. at D9? Uh, Edward, I am glad it all went as planned. I will arrive in town Sunday by train and meet you at B's diner. And I'm pretty sure, Sunday. let me just double check that that's the, that was D9. Note, B's diner. Be sure it is kept D9. warm. B's diner, D9. I think it's 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 the thing, it's, it's a, this, a piece of shove in the grass. Solve it. <laughs> so what? What the fuck is we Edward go doing? We to Bee's diner. Yeah. First. Yeah. I definitely. That's where we're going. No, without a doubt. Also, yeah. this parchment box found related to. I saw you pointing to the thing. Uh, related the, the, to the missing. Well, the crate that there was there, which is probably what the blade and the bowl were from. Ooh, were right, from right, the right, right, from right. the missing the missing oh. exhibit piece. There was an artifact missing from the museum because you said it was the box was stamped missing. with the museum. With the on museum it, right? on it. That's weird. So let me reread this to see if it gives us any sure. information. The much anticipated new series of exhibitions at the University Exhibit Museum has been delayed until next week due to an unforeseen problem with a missing artifact. Dr. Robert Gladding, Jr., curator at the museum, spoke to a reporter yesterday. He confirmed that at least one of the new artifacts on loan from the Boston Heritage Center has disappeared. At first, it was sus suspected that the artifact had been misplaced, but on examination of the entire consignment from Boston, the police were notified. Gladding said, although theft is unlikely, as the artifact in question has little value, we cannot rule it out at this time. The investigation continues, and now work is underway to change the exhibit in order to compensate for missing items. The, uh, yeah, oh! Also, uh, but Victor Guy from, yep. is the Boston academic who's visiting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Victor Ingram is scheduled to arrive any day now. A senior curator from the Boston Museum. Victor Ingram is scheduled to visit the Miskatonic Exhibit Museum. Whilst in town, he is due to judge the competition between the junior curators. Uh, the curator at the best exhibit so takes the role of that senior. Note, more than likely. Coming into yeah. town? Yes. Yeah. Victor warm. Ingram wrote Edward, saying, I'm coming into town. They're going to meet at the diner. And Edward had something for him. Edward has something that he needs to keep warm. And it could be the seeds. It could be the seeds. Something to do with seeds. Something to do with the, What about that farming thing or that weird... Remember that thing? The grain? The first one about grain? Something about grain. <laughs> Someone said something about grain, I and swear. It was, just, it was just new... Maybe nothing? The... Hoover fills three farm places. Okay, it's just... Maybe uh, in the, just I think it was federal, just the federal farm board all represent... There's new representatives in the federal farm board. Never mind. Just freaked out about grain for a second and farm. I want to give him the seed. So. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. So why would. Okay. So Edward stole something. From the museum. Victor, or someone stole something from the museum. And it, it, yeah. And it's in Edward's. I don't think Silver Twilight's involved in this anymore. <laughs> Possibly not. Possibly. I don't know. Well, the whole cat being scared. I still think that demon Shubby. Is mm -hmm. still involved because that cat was going. Nuts. Oh yeah, it's it. So the silver call or the silver guys were trying to summon this. Uh -huh. They failed. They did fail. But Edward and this Victor dude from the mu from the museum, uh, I think it's up here somewhere, is are we're trying to summon uh, Shubby. Why do you think that? 
Like, I I haven't put because together what the heck Victor's doing yet. I think. Well, no, but he, I, we're guessing that that's who Edward's meeting. Right? Yes, and Edward's involved with with Shub, with the girl, right? Because we know the girl from the cultist. With, with the girl, yeah, not necessarily Shub or the cult. No, but the cult. I think the cult's not in this. But from the the occultist said that she, he thinks that the girl was involved uh, was uh, impregnated or seated spawn thing with from Shubby, but the the house doesn't say that. The house says something different. Yeah, the, yeah. So I think the silver the silver twilight is out of this. Yes. They were trying to summon they were trying to summon something. They were doing something illegal, but they were not involved with this girl. I think it's a very since they're so close to get uh, since they well, they since they're so close together, I think it's a little bit of a throw off. I don't think they're involved together. Possibly. I think I think I think we've just gotten one more clue that this creature. Sh- I think we go to Shubby, D9. I, 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 yeah, for sure. We're definitely going there. I think Shubby, <laughs> Shubby uh, is still a part of it. Yeah, no, yeah. It, 100% but then, is. but then the biggest but, question that his neck is still Hitler. out there is, what the fuck does Edward have to do with that? Like, yeah. what is Edward and Victor yeah. doing? I think Edward was trying to. They're trying to summon Chubby, and see that's the part that I, I don't think we see think... any evidence for that. What's happening right now? Is it cars in here? <laughs> I <laughs> think. Flame. 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 Okay, wait. I'm just gonna like. Okay. I don't think so. Could the silver, the silver twilight? We're trying to do the uh, this god. The yeah. Like I don't. Nefertite. I don't think anything is pointed towards Edward being involved in the spiritual stuff. Or Victor being involved in well, spiritual stuff. I mean, the dagger and the bowl of blood in his basement? Um, I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. Okay, let's just go to D9. I, yeah, to D9. yeah, okay. Is there anything you want me more to oh, write down from what that situation? Uh, I've got no Edward, Hartwell. Oh, yeah, no one. I've um, got some numbers here. Weird cat, bowl, dagger with symbols. No, B's diner. Be sure to keep thing warm. And that kind well, of we thing. have the note. I, I, yeah, I have yeah, we have the note, so we're fine. Okay, I'll give you the note. You're sure. technically not allowed to look at that when you have to answer questions. You guys ready for D9? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. It looks as though you missed the action by the time you arrive at B's diner. A police wagon pulls away as you turn the corner. You spawn <laughs> Inspector Garrison standing with several. It wouldn't have changed if you had it the first time. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. <laughs> The detective greets you with a nod. We've got him thanks to the tip from Armitage. Edward Hartwell matches the description of the man that Keane saw fleeing the attack last night. I placed Edward under arrest, but he wasn't particularly cooperative and things got violent. That said, I that he's going to end up in the that said, I think he's gonna end up in the sanitarium to be sure. This nonsense he was battling. The overturned chairs and smashed crockery scattered around the diner tell the tale of his arrest. You ask if Hartwell had anything suspicious in his possession. Perhaps. He came in the diner with a small package, according to a waitress, but he met a man who called himself Victor and gave the package to that gentleman. The waitress overheard Hartwell's companion saying they had to rush off so they didn't miss his train. Garrison appears upset that Hartwell's contact evaded capture. My jurisdiction ends at city's limits. That package is someone else's concern now. With a twinkle in Garrison's eye suggesting he is intending to follow the man with the package, he tips his hat uh, and turns to speak with one of his officers. He realized that Garrison wouldn't leave a loose end like that to chance. So was new. I mean, it's solved. I mean, the, our messenger was there. It's solved. It was Edward. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Edward was at the scene. Edward uh, had a relationship with the victim. Edward yeah, then met with Victor. Victor later on. And Victor took off. What's the motive? What do you think it was still spiritual? I think you... Victor was either buying that package from Edward, or that whatever the thing to keep warm was, buying it from Edward, or they were just in cahoots the whole time. Sure. Like they're. And they're do you part think... of they're part of the cultists trying to summon gods and whatever. Sorry. Whoa. Basic, I'm so basic, sorry. I'm moving well, my basic foot. Love, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Basic Lovecraft lore where it's like everybody's some cultists are summoning and. Okay. Right? Did they give any indication of where they were going? 
the, the uh, Edward, the Edward, and uh, and Garrison, because Garrison was going to follow Edward. Is uh, that right? Out of town, just out, out of, of town. town. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the Victor followed Victor out of town. Yeah, Edward's been arrested. Edward's, Edward's in jail. been ar- mm-hmm. Edward's in jail. Yep. Um. What is the cultist motive in general? <laughs> An orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry again. I right? still don't fully. No, I think uh, I'm res- still a understand bit lost. what Edward's motive here. What he did. he was a cultist. He's he's just a cultist. He, I think either he went insane from something like before and just because that's what cultists do. They 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 see something that puts them their sanity over the edge and then they start summoning old gods and worshiping and. So, so you think maybe he stole these seeds because they're part of the ritual. He went to the cultist thing. They not did the seeds. The thing. I think he stole the, the blade and the bowl from, from the museum. Oh, because they needed it for the ritual. Yeah. Then he met with his group. They did the ritual. It accidentally killed the girl that he's with? No, no, no. I think. Or do you think she was with him? Maybe they were together and they're part of it? I think maybe like she was maybe walked in on it. Or accidentally they, walked or in? they or she was part of the ritual and like they forced her like they forced her into the ritual and they put something inside of her. Yeah, so I think because they're they have a relationship, I think she was part of it too. But uh, not willingly. M- or may willingly. may or maybe, may maybe, not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Either way. Um I don't know why how she was way over here. I mean, well I like guess I think I think they were here. together. I think Edward and the woman were together and yes. I think they were both knowingly part of the ritual. Now whether she knew she was going to die or not, or be injured or not. I don't know. I what think I think she actually has the the piece of chubby in her, and it, yeah, she's going to hold it for a few years until it consumes her. And okay, yeah, yeah. Now, what's Victor's motive in this? Uh, maybe he wanted a piece. Maybe they summoned more than one piece, and he wanted also a piece of chub. What about yeah? What about this warm package? What if we get a question about this warm package? <laughs> okay, I got you a warm package. <laughs> just when I saw it from a mile away. Um, I don't think a, a lot of people know what that package was, except for Edward. And so what he, did he's we probably s- not going to tell what us. What all did we find at Edward's house? It was a knife, a bowl, some parchment with writing on it? Is yeah. that right? And a uh, box with seeds in it? Yeah, a small box of black seeds. Okay. Do you have to keep seeds warm? Is that a thing? No. Okay. Well, no. You... Oh, who are you asking? Are you asking me if I keep more seeds warm? <laughs> I thought that's what you said. No, it's like a general. Asking, does anyone, oh, what? Does anyone ever happened? have to keep oh, seeds warm? Oh, oh my fuck fell off. Oh, I was off. No, no, no. Justin was. That's fine. I'm, I'm... Your little piece fell uh, off. Oh, my piece <laughs> fell off. Just what I saw from a while away. I think it's my hair. I think that's what's doing it. Must be a long package. I think it's my hair. Is it in your pocket? Oh, maybe. Oh, no, that's a button. No, it's a button. I need to pee. What are you guys discuss? I honestly. I think we. I think we call it. You think we call it here? I think we call it here. We're at. But we. Okay, so we still. One, have... two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're at the max amount that he said that it should take. That's interesting because yeah, I don't even know where we would go from this point on. I mean, and we've only. Like, got... I would say I would if we were gonna go farther. Yeah, what would we do? I would say we would go to the jail and see if we can talk to Edward. Yeah. I don't think he's going to give us any information. I don't think so either. Um, is there a train station? I am not left-handed. I am right-handed. Is there a train station? And um, you don't... Maybe I'm just like holding things. And there is a train know. station. What the heck? What's that one about? Well, because he said that he had to leave to catch a train. Victor. In, in, the, in the police investigation. The, True. The, she said she was going to go take a plane. But Garrison already said that he was going to either send someone or he was going to go fo- try and follow this guy out of town. Yeah. Um... This is the train station. Um, so, I mean, we could go to the train station see if we can run into Victor. We could go to the jail, see if we can talk to Edward. But I think we call it. And I think we see what the questions are. Okay, I'm, I'm pro-calling it, but let's just, again, recap what we yeah. think the story is. Yeah, because I, like, I feel like the story's a bit wonky. So I think... Edward and what's her name? Meredith? Meredith. Martha. 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 <laughs> I mean, You've got notes on that. I think they're in yeah, uh, romantic cahoots with back. each other. And I think they're part of the cult. 
I, I think they're they're part of the silver. The uh, yeah, the twilight. twilight thing. I don't think they're part of the sil silver twilight. I think the silver twilight has nothing to do with this. What? Then I have no understanding <laughs> of what your theory they're is. They're different. They're different. They're part. They're, what were they doing? They're that just night? cultists. They're not. Oh, but isn't that what the twilight group no. are? They're not. Well, they get, they are a, a cult. They are cultists, but they're not. They're, the Twilight Group is, are cultists that happen to be practicing next to the crime scene. Yeah. And I you think, don't think that that had anything to do with what Edward I, was doing. I do not think that has I anything think to do with what Edward was doing. Okay, let me tell you my theory. I think Edward was part and of this, this group. this CS, I do not think is Carl. What the fuck? <laughs> What about Car okay? He so just, you and I are on different pages. Yeah. So we think that Carl. Doesn't matter. We it's, think it's part of. This is probably part of Chubby. But anyway, no, it's fine. I'm just. We are. We, earlier we were worried about Carl, right? Yeah, Carl. We, we like, still should be like, worried about Carl. So Carl should, is a very dangerous big, person. He's a big no-no. Okay. Framing. What is our? What's wrong? I don't think he was framing the the the. Oh, he was no. I don't think he was framing the the silver. I don't think they... The Silver Twilight does not need framing. <laughs> okay. I, I want to get my theory out. Yeah, sure. I think Edward and Martha are in romantic cahoots, and I think they're part of the Twilight group. I think they were up in that room. Martha got dizzy and weird. Things got weird. I don't know exactly what happened in the room, but she ended up super injured. Everyone freaked out. She just stumbled about. Edward ran. He, sp he got, didn't know what to do. Uh, the other guys ran as well. They're all gone. Then Edward met with Victor. I don't know why Victor has any interest in that stuff. Well, I, Victor has interest in stuff because I breed probably a cultist as well. Uh, so yeah, see, I'm not convinced about that, but... Well, there's a, in the Arkham... Or in, in, in this world, a lot of people are cultists. <laughs> I'm a cultist. <laughs> so, okay, um, so go walk me through what you think. So I think, I think, I think the, the it was performed. The, uh, the 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 ritual was performed in Edward's basement. In Edward's basement. Well, because that's where we found the blade and the bowl. Okay. I don't think they... Or he brought it there to hide it. Yeah, but I don't think he walked down the street with a blood bowl of bowl. He got a bag. Uh... <laughs> so okay, then what happened? Okay, so so they... just just Edward and the girl. Just Edward and the girl. Okay. They did the ritual in the basement, and she was walking because okay, her home is F sixty six. Way over here. No. Was it F sixty six? Was the F sixteen? No, it's F sixteen. We keep thinking F sixteen. So she was here, and her house is here, and she like was wandering up here, and then got to here, and then maybe felt woozy or whatever, or maybe what they were doing in in here affected her because it was also opening another portal to to where old gold live or whatever right she got dizzy she thought the tree is her thing she made up this she was part of it so she made up this story about everything or the trees could have been moving who knows yeah but um someone found her and was just like oh, are you okay right she maybe didn't want to get someone involved but someone did so whatever so that happened and then edward was just like well i'm going to continue doing my plan i got this note from victor and i did that and that, and that's, that's okay. it. That's all that and happened. that's reasonable. That's reasonable. What do you think, Julie? I think in the... Uh, These are Julie bits. These are Julie bits. Uh, I think, I think uh, she... I mean, right now she's probably fine. Uh, she, I believe she has, She probably has a piece of uh, chub in her. And uh, <laughs> she's are, to be avoided in the next, oh, in the next few it. years. But uh, until then, she's probably just fine. <laughs> You know, the one piece of evidence that does uh, point towards it, the ritual happening in the basement is that the cat uh, was being all crazy. Mm -hmm. And had it occurred here, that maybe the cat would never have even uh, been confronted with this demon mm -hmm. creature. And uh, what do know. you make of the missing cat from the newspaper or anything? I don't think it's so maybe when she's either. walking, she ate a cat. Yes, yeah, maybe she ate a cat. And um, <laughs> so in your uh, idea... If the whole, because, what am I trying to say here? Um, so you think that cultist group or whatever is it's not. Silver Twilight. Yeah, them. 
Um, it's not involved. So in then that means even the, the the lights that we're seeing, et cetera, you think that was just them trying to do something? Well, yeah, they were right? definitely trying to do they something. Doing they were doing some shit. They okay. were trying to uh, summon the, the this first one. guy. Right. This god. And, you think, and they failed. And they, you think Edward was summoning the exact same god? And no, 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 a different, different god. god. Shubby. He was... They uh, what? Silver Twilight. Shubby. Shubby. I was this whole time I thought they were, they were the same. Silver Twilight was no. trying to summon a Nyarlathotep. Uh, Nyarlathotep. Nyarlathotep. And Edward was trying to... Uh, no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was just one the, no, god. The Paul, god. this guy okay. told us about this. We just saw because this when thing. we yeah. when we told him about the girl, he told us the information about Shub. But when we were here in the building, we, we found ev- a, uh, yes, evidence for that. this god. Yes, right. They're and completely we, separate gods. Cool. So I don't think that, that's why I don't think they're connected. Yeah, I, that's I think. another piece of evidence for, towards that. That makes sense. I think. I don't think we'll get any questions on the Silver Twilight. What's I think the... we're going to get questions on Edward and. And his rituals getting. Is it bad if we do more? Uh, if yes. you have more locations that you go and visit, it'll be a negative score compared to whatever Armitage had. So, for example, if you guys visited ten locations and Armitage visited six, you guys will lose four points. Mm-hmm. So we're already losing three. We don't know how many. We don't know how many. Oh, he was okay. between uh, six and eleven. I think. He said it should take between six and eleven. Yeah, yeah. he said it should be take between six and eleven. We are at eleven right now. We're at ten locations. We've, we've done ten. We're at eleven times. Because one location was a, a, a dud. Okay. So, so taking more time will hinder us. Right. How's it going, Alvin? So, oh hey, Alvin. So Julie, what do you what do you think about Mike's uh, theory? Is that Alvin? Yeah. Alvin. Nurgle? Yeah. It's <laughs> funny. I played Nurgle tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that's really funny. Hey, Alvin, how's it going? Um, I think. And what's your best guess about Victor I didn't Ingram's? Ask question. Oh, uh, what did he ask me? What's your uh, opinion on Mike's theory here? That it was really just Edward doing a weird cult thing and he injured uh, Martha. I just... Uh, I just am still concerned about the activity in that building, but I see that it could be just a way to throw... I think it's a, I think it's 100% it's a way to throw us off of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm, yeah, I'm a bit torn because I... I mean, we won't know until we get the question. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and in which case, I don't think we're okay, going to find okay, anything else. Okay, here We have information for both. Yeah, already. We do. I think yeah. we have plenty of information for both. Just, yeah, yeah. And if, if the questions go one way, then and we, we have don't the answers. And we don't know her last name. If they go the other way, we have the answers for <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I think. Yeah. We might not have all the answers, but we have. I think we have a majority of them. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. if, if it was the sil, if he was involved in the Silver Twilight, I think we can figure that out from the questions. Right? Yes. We <laughs> haven't figured that out in the evidence, but I think if, if the questions are pointing more towards Edward being part of the Silver Twilight, I mean, unless the question is, was Edward part of the Silver Twilight? And that's right. question one, and we're like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to throw some, some questions at you. Uh, what did uh, Edward and Victor trade at the cafe, at the diner? I don't think they traded anything. You just think, yeah, so they, they just brought, he just brought a warm package? I mean, or he's something like, to Do you have this warm package, keep it warm. That's what Victor I did? I think it was the seeds. You think it's this, the warm seeds? I don't know. I am glad, <laughs> I'm glad it all went well as planned. I will arrive in town Sunday by train and meet you at B's Diner. I will collect it from you there, so be sure it's kept warm. So, and, oh, and so just collect. Yeah, and Victor knew that something was going to happen and that it went well. So I think... I think they were communicating with each other. Edward successfully did the ritual. Victor knows it. And uh, and Victor wants those seeds. Okay. I don't yeah. know what the seeds have to do with anything. But I don't know what else is kept warm. I, <laughs> I oh, don't maybe, know it, is it possible that this creature... Do we think the creature is in Martha? Or do we think it's... Maybe Edward's keeping this creature warm. And this creature was out, killed a couple cats, yes. and now Edward has them like bundled <laughs> up in some blankies. <laughs> it's a cat. And is that what they traded? Did they just trade this this creature? Cat? It's a dead cat. Kept warm. That's missing? No, no, no. I don't know. I okay, mean, maybe. I don't like know. We're not story. saying that it, it is the cat that's missing. It's a possibility. Yeah. Um, so it's scheduled to be at the exhibit museum. If we were going to go to one more place, I would say it would be the where he was supposed to be. To the museum? To the museum. The exhibit museum. I'm just trying to look for it here. 
I don't think we need to visit another place. I think mean, we should saying. just hear the questions. So, but what do we think that they traded? Possibly a dead cat. Possibly a dead cat. Possibly you guys this can also creature. talk when you guys get the questions one by one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 You don't have we're to not, just give a list of just answers. Just silence. Yeah. Yeah. We're, 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 we're guys, to, you, we're you'll basically, I'll ask those. you the questions, you're going to just answer them oh, okay. on paper, and then I'll we'll score your points on your We're answers. not allowed to have this, this. Yeah, or this. Or that, which right. Justin has that, so we're not uh, worried about that. Do you guys want to do the questions? I hope my notes are garbage. You guys help me with most of them. Are you guys ready? I think we have a lot of in our head as well. That too, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Good luck, guys. Ah, oh, for the love of Pete. I will say you guys went a completely different route than we did. It was very entertaining to watch. Cool. Nice. That's cool. All you right. guys probably went to fucking D9 right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. What is the name of the woman who collapsed in the street? Martha. Martha. So do you want to just write all these down? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, though. I knew it. I said it's going to yeah, ask her name. What, what's her last name? We don't know we, it. I... So just put a blank. Martha blank. Shoot. Who? I, I, I said, but yeah. Wait, is it Edward's last name? No. Oh, they live in different places. Why don't put it down? Hartwell. Put, put it down. Trail. Yeah, should put I? Hartwell. Put Hartwell. For... But why do they live apart? Is it, Does it matter? Do you want the full name? If it yeah, just write down what you guys know. What okay. you guys want to put. All right, we'll score you put from I'll, I'll put Hartwell. Because the directory called? had a Hartwell M in it. Int yeah, but it was at a different place than the location. Uh, it was F sixty six. And we know she. Yeah, but we know she, she lived, lived at here. A, like, and he lived over there. And he lived here. I mean, this could be. Let's just put fake. Martha. It's safe. Maybe Martha's she was. The, maybe she was getting this for. We should go. For fuck's sakes, guys! This is the first question. What's her there's, name? There's twelve of them. There's twelve. Of them. <laughs> uh, put Martha. Let's just do it. You say put it. You say don't. <laughs> Also, what I'm gonna do is like, for example, if you get the first name and not the last game, I'm like, I'll give you guys like the half, half point. Okay, okay, so it's either okay. half point or no point. Yes. Okay, let's keep it there. Yeah, okay. We'll keep it there. Okay. Fine, 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 it's fine. Better Two. Put, you're a teacher. It's better put an answer than nothing. Yeah. Who was the True. suspicious character that oh. made a quick exit from the scene of the crime? Edward. A quick exit from the scene of the crime? It was Edward. The guy with the scar was Edward. Yes. So they said it at the diner. Yes. Yes. Edward Hartwell. Edward Hartwell. Edward Hartwell. Okay. Number three. How did the woman come by her injury? Oh, boy. Oh, shit. I think the blade the, that we found the, in... The dagger and bowl. The, da well, the dagger. The dagger. The, 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 sim the during, dagger symbols on it. Dagger during a ritual, right? Should it I just says came by it. I don't know if it wants the whole situation. I mean, we'll say by ritual. The, 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 the symbolic dagger by ritual. Or sim yeah. dagger with symbols... By a ritual. Okay. What is the danger in the park? <laughs> <laughs> uh, really. Okay, so here's spitballing some the, ideas. The trees. The easterly wind. The easterly <laughs> wind and the trees. Well, okay, but the 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 guy the. The, onco the oncologist said the... the oncologist? <laughs> Whatever the <laughs> <it is>. Cancer <laughs> doctor. The oncultist, the oncultist said, said, said that the trees were part of the uh, shove uh, coming into our like, thing. thing. So, so it was it shubby? I think it was shubby. Shubby trees? Yeah. Shubby? Should we go shubby? Yeah. Somehow, some way, that's him? Yeah. Or, uh, unless it was poison. <laughs> But it's yeah. either poison or if it was him, or if it was the god coming into we'll being. We'll say shubby trees. Shubby. <sighs> you guys good for the next one? Yeah. Yeah. What, so what did you put? Shubby? Shubby. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was stolen from the museum? <laughs> the dagger and bowl. Mm, not... Both the seeds and the parchment. Well, the seeds and the parchment could be part of that as well, because the crate... I think you're right, the dagger bowl. The dagger bowl is one of the, th it did say, I mean, in the article, it said, it said an item was stolen, but at the end it said items, but this has Not a, valuable, they Not say. valuable. So the bowl and the dagger and the seeds and the parchment wouldn't be valuable. So you think all four items? Well, it was a crate, right? They said in the basement there was a crate with the symbol on it that was cracked open, and then all that stuff was on the table. Yeah. So hundred percent, I think the bowl them? and the and the the knife were in there. Dagger bowl. Parchment box from uh, do you think I should put all four items? Yeah. yeah. Parchment. And the seeds. And seeds. Weird. What a weird combo. Okay. Who is the out of town cultist of Shub Niggerath? Fucking Victor. Victor. Victor, um, I have it. 
Uh, I don't know. Our Victor Ingram. Ingram. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next. Why did the cat hiss at the wall on East Saltonstall Street? That's Edward's house, right? No. Yeah, when we visited no. Edward's house. East Saltonstall Street is here. His house is here. So we didn't go to a place on this street. Okay, but there was a hissing cat at I, Edward's house, right? Yes. Is it possible because that this goes back to, to Justin saying the map's just imperfect? I mean, okay. do you guys have a better guess is it than be, saying... Yeah. I just sort of I say writing we, down... I think, I think, I think, I mean, I think we can safely answer this question even if we if it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. Because it was, uh, even a spawn of Shub, uh, Cats in a domestic animals will hiss at. So yes. there means there was a spawn of. Yeah, I agree. A spawn of Shubby. Totally. Yeah, put spawn. Spawn of. Or Sh Shubby himself. Shubby. Or. or <laughs> I put spawn of Shubby. Sounds good. Who did the hospital workers see on the top floor of the Emperor home? Carl. This is Carl, the leader of the cult. Probably. Which may or may not have had anything to do with the crime. Carl Sanford. But that's what they were doing up top there. Yeah. Carl Sanford. Where Carl is L19? Sanford. Just wondering. L19? That's, Man, that's, that's a fun game. game. That's his house. I'm okay. so curious to find out. You guys want for another one? Yeah. 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 What yeah. was Barclay Rutger up to? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll just say we had the exact same reaction. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> got, don't feel as bad, but Kay. still. <laughs> Oh, Read that okay. name again. Fuck. What was the name of Bar? What was Barclay Rutger up to? <laughs> oh, Br. Barclay. <laughs> there was a Br. I don't think there was. Not in those. Not on the newspaper. Out of those uh, things. I don't. Think but there's a Br somewhere. Mm. Anyway. Uh, so um, he could have been an occultist. What else could he be? He could be hospital worker. He could be. At what was he up to? Though? No. What was he up to? Mm. Most, what was he up to? Most likely, I want to say he's an occultist. And he's probably he, an occultist. Uh, maybe he helped Edward steal. Maybe, yeah, maybe he helped him steal the, the stuff from the museum. Let's call him a museum dude. Yeah. Helped, he helped Edward steal. I like it. All right. Number, number 10. Directing the orgy. <laughs> number 10. Yeah. What was the name of the late night graveyard visitor? Oh, fuck. There's a graveyard? <laughs> How many questions are there? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. There's a graveyard? Who visited? Late night who graveyard. would visit the graveyard late? Could be Edward. Could be Carl. Who would Victor? No, Victor wouldn't visit the graveyard. So they're going there for spiritual reasons, I'm guessing. Could it have been the occultist? Or a trade. Maybe they're trading something in the night. Maybe that's where he got the Creepy, scary dude? I don't know. Edward? Should we just throw Edward's name sure, out? let's just throw Edward in. Okay. Okay. Next. Why did the late night graveyard visitor visit at night and what was he doing? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Digging up those seeds. Digging up seeds. Because in the day they would have grown. <laughs> I, at night because he didn't want anyone to know what he was doing. He wanted to be secretive. Yeah. And two, he he was finding <laughs> visiting the graveyard. He was trying. He was going into one of the tombs to get. Something. Ooh, what Something. could he have been getting? I mean, he could have been the dagger and bowl. Then what was it? If it was Edward. Oh, thing. what about that silver medallion that was found in the in thing? The, that's, the, that's maybe the, he the, got it house. from a grave. <laughs> I don't know. The, it maybe. was in here. It's a, it's. A, I think it's one of the silver. So maybe it was Carl yeah. who was in the graveyard and he was digging up a body to get this silver medallion off of a body. I have no fucking idea. What should I put? Be secretive. Be being secretive. Be being Carl. Secretive. We haven't okay. used Carl's name being yet. Secretive. <laughs> we, and it was Carl. Or, or, no, yeah, well, why did he visit at night and what was he doing? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We already put Edward down as being there. So he's visiting at night <laughs> to be secretive. Yeah. And what was he doing in the graveyard? Yeah, that's his <laughs> entire objective was to be secretive. <laughs> Maybe he was hiding from the police. Hiding? <laughs> being secretive? Hiding. I don't no, I think being secretive, and I think digging up something. Let's just say digging up something. Yeah, just I agree with that. Just say that, I agree. Let's be vague. Very smart. Let's trick Last Justin question. as he answers <laughs> this. Last question. What is the word scrawled all over the emperor home? 
Oh, that's, that's an easy one. I wrote it down. If you guys have it there, I won't write it down. Oh, we yeah. are. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, because we graded ourselves for how good we did, yeah. I'm going to let you guys look at your answers okay. and give a grade that you think you should get. Sure, okay? sure. That's fine. So out of three points, what is the name of the woman who collapsed on the street? Her name is Martha Modine. Okay. I think half a point. Or out of three? Out of three. I think, oh. I think, I think only one. If we got... If we just did Martha blank, I would have given us 1.5 because we got half of it. But because we incorrectly gave it a bad name, I think we go down to one. Uh, I, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Uh, who was the name of the, sus the suspicious character that made a quick exit from the su crime scene? Edward Hartwell. These are Five all points. points. Oh, okay. Five points. Thank fuck. So each question is graded differently. Yes. Okay. Uh, how did the woman come by her injury? So out of five points... The ritual extraction of the spawn of Shub Niggerath. Dagger during extracting ritual. Extracting it. So they were extracting it. Okay. We... So I don't think we got a full five because we didn't no, say no. it was Shubby. We didn't realize it was extracting. Well, I, I think we, we, well, did we not knew know it was Shubby. We knew it was Shubby. I mean, we, we didn't, didn't write it down. Extraction, so yeah. We, we didn't know it was extraction. So I think like four, th three or four. What do you think? Would we knew it was a ritual. Yeah, I, I think you guys got four. four. You just okay. made the extraction. We just didn't get okay. the extraction. Yeah. We, we didn't know. know put in we didn't know what was the ritual about. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this one, you either are going to get one point or three points, but you guys are only going to get one. <laughs> what is the danger in the park? It's a tree that comes alive for one point. For three points, you would have had to say the name of the creature, which is a dark young. Mm. Oh. So, so you have yeah. one point because he said chubby trees in your answer. Right. Okay. So we just didn't say. Uh, alive trees, alive. yeah. Which she told did us. He, did he? Did he? Did he, did he no, he yeah. didn't. Someone yeah. else did. Someone else tells us. I don't think yeah. he told us. What was stolen from the museum? A bowl. So two points. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. A Kathotha birthing dish, which is what they say here, but it huh. just says a bowl. Who was the name of the out-of-town cultist of Shub Niggerath? Mr. Ingram. So that's Thanks. two points. So why did the kit the cat hiss at the wall in the east of Saltonstall Street? It was sensing the seeds of Shub Niggerath in Edward's basement. Mitch was right. The map is wrong for Fuck. that one. Yeah. Okay. So you guys have the right location. Oh, okay. It was just okay. the map that okay. was wrong. Okay. So we okay, so, but I think that's still... That's so out of how many points? One point. So we, I think we got one point for it. Where, what did we spawn write? Of, spawn of Shubby. I will give you guys half. Uh, cause, sure. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. the... It was the seeds. Is it was really, the seeds. Yeah. yeah we, were, we specifically said spawn of Shubby. So, yeah, okay, half. Uh, who did the hospital workers see on the top floor of the Emperor home? It says members of the Silver Twilight Lodge. Carl Sanford is the leader, yeah. so you guys get full points, two points for okay. that. Okay. You guys would actually get bonus points yeah. for being so fixated on Carl Sanford. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking obsessed. <laughs> Are you guys you ready for the, the three questions that threw also us for a loop? <laughs> oh, really? The yeah. least gray-haired ones? What was Barclay Rutger up to? Drinking with his friends on the unvisited aisle, so zero points. <laughs> Oh, I remember that from the... That's why it's visited. That's why it's called that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the name of the late night visitor to the graveyard? Thomas Ilsley. <laughs> so zero points. Yeah. Uh, why did he visit and what was he doing? He suffers from insomnia and was conducting research for a book. Zero, zero points. So this is, yeah, this is part of the other part of the story, I guess. What is the word scrawled all over the emperor home? We got... Nyarlathotep for one point. Okay. If you visited Uptown Park, U67, encountering the Dark Young, deduct one point from your score for mental trauma. Cool. Yes. So there was something scary there. Yeah, we did the not go there. Count the number of locations you traveled to unless the location did not contain an actual written encounter. We did ten. Um, deduct one enough. point for every location you traveled beyond seven. So minus three. Oh, no, so you, you get seven points. We earned seven? Oh, no, no, minus three. Mitch got it right. I was wrong. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, add up your score. Okay. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, down to 15. We're at 15.5. 15.5. Um, you win. Cool. On the following page, you may visit the locations Armitage visited. Solution. In the end, a simple mystery. Back in Armitage's office, you feel the legwork of the week was far from simple. Garrison reclining near the open window in a leather wing back chair gives you a look that implies he agrees with you. Garrison says, there was the question of the woman's identity to wrestle with Henry. That seems like the most pertinent fact that we were missing from the start. Armitage nods. Indeed, that was the forefront of my mind as well. Inspector, and once I visited her room at Rennie's boarding house, I was able to put a name to our young lady, Miss Martha Modine. Garrison looked perplexed. What on earth led you to the French Hill to, the, to Rennie's uh, house? 
Armitage grins. Alas, Inspector, so wrapped up were your officers in door-to-door -door solicitations over the identity of the young lady, they neglected her possessions. Her receipt from the boarding house clearly showed that she intended to stay there for another month. This then led me to, her fr uh, to the fiend Hartwell in his lair, so clean and tidy. Garrison shrugs begrudgingly in a mission that focused on the surrounding streets was the wrong call, given the circumstances. Well, what happened to her then? Why did that villain Hartwell attack the woman he professed to love? That, Inspector, perhaps we will never fully comprehend. Mr. Edward Hart Hartwell had a, greater, uh, a love greater than the one he professed to hold for Martha. There was a special bond between the two, but Edward was held thrall to dark powers beyond our world. The rantings he uttered upon his arrest, his arrest were testament to that. His love for the unspeakable evil of Shub Niggerath outweighed even his fondness for the lovely Miss Modine. He must have been planning it for some time, slipping one of those damnable seeds into Martha's food where it wriggled its way into her chest cavity, there to grow and feed on her like a parasite. Mm. Martha was the unknowing host of this evil inside her. I must admit that Weasel Pascal was some, of some use there and confirm what I had learned from reading Ibon in the library. A lingering memory of his feelings for Martha must have prompted Edward in remorse to redress her and lay her out to expire rather than complete the prescribed sacrifice. It is likely that the secretion, secretions of the spawn, that foul mucus, stayed in the blood flow for a short time and dulled the plane as the influence of the spawn waned after its removal. It is clear that Martha awoke and was able to stagger back to the street to try and find help. Garrison interjects suddenly. Why the attack in the park then? Surely he was taking a risk in such a public place. Armitage pauses, then knowingly responds. It would seem the ritual needed to be overseen by a watcher, a dark young, Shub Niggerath's blasphemous child. Where could one of these evil creatures hide in Arkham but in a heavily wooded park? He needed to conduct the ritual outside. What risk was there in the overgrown part of Uptown Park? With a slice and a snap of bones, he was able to free the unholy spawn and store it in the Cathatha birthing disc that was taken from the museum. That is, until he can transfer it to a more secure bindings and hand it off to his friend, Victor Ingram. Mm -hmm. It is a shame that you missed him, Inspector. Garrison nodded, nods at the suitcase next to Armitage's desk, that twinkled back in his eye. I a shame. Seems like you and I have a trip to make in the morning. Unfinished business. The path of Armitage. Armitage saw this location by visiting seven locations and making a reasoned deduction that the bowl was used in the ritual. He visited the hospital, the library, the museum, uh, Pasquale, Herbert, the, uh, Herbert Corbett, the criminologist, Rennie's boarding house, and Edward Hartwell's house. The next adventure is entitled Flesh and Blood. And that's the back of oh, oh, oh. the newspaper? Um, what is that one? Yeah. That's, the, that's just the next adventure. Oh. There's eight in this book. That was fun. I really liked it. Shit. We had... Okay, so... Uh, out, fewer than 12 was a loss, higher than 12 was a win, 18 was like ultimate victory. I think we had like either 16 or 17. I have to watch mm -hmm. again. Yeah. You were close. You were. Do you want to stop the recording? So you guys went on a totally different path than us? Yeah, we Did went.